So we are ready to start the basics of VoiceThread and that's going to entail actually creating a VoiceThread and also how to comment on others' VoiceThreads. Before I go ahead and start creating, I do want to make you, know, uh, make you aware of this spot right here. This is my voice and basically what that does is it contains all the, one, all the voice threads that you make and so whenever you've, after you've created one, if you click on my voice, it'll give you a listing of all your voice threads so you can edit, delete, do whatever you have to do. Alright, uh, before I get started I need to sign in, so I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account. And to start start a uh, new voice thread, you're just going to click on create. Alright, this is the workspace um, to create your voice thread. And the first thing you're going to do is you need to upload some pictures or documents or video um, to your file. You have some options here. Um, you can upload directly from your webcam. You can upload directly from a URL of a file. This is a good source um, from media sources, from other voice threads you've done. If you've got a Flickr account that you can add to it, you can pull things directly from your Facebook. And this is a new addition. The New York Public Library has a lot of images that you can access for free. Um, but a lot of times, mostly you start off with uh, images or files that are on your computer. So I'm going to go with that. Click on my computer. What's really cool about VoiceThread is it does a lot of different files. It can do pictures, um, JPEGs, GIFs, bitmaps. It can do video files, WMV, MP4, AVI. It can do uh, Word documents. It can do Excel spreadsheets. It can do PowerPoint files. It can do PDFs. It really accepts a large amount of files, which is really cool. I'm going to just go ahead and choose something here. I'm going to go to... Oh, let's get something from my digital footprints. All right, I'm just going to grab a couple pictures here. And we'll go ahead and upload your pictures or your video or your documents. And what happens is it creates them into different pages. And each page is going to be its own space for commenting. And so these are my four pages for each of my four pictures that I did. You can add titles to the pages. You can also add links. So if I want this to uh, link to a certain page that people can go to an exterior site, I can do that too. And so that's how you've got your four pictures up here. The next step is I want to show you uh, how to comment. So after you've got your uh, objects uploaded, you're going to click on comment. And this is the basic um, format of how you're going to comment on not only your own voice threads, but also other people's voice threads as well. As you can see, it automatically starts to play. So right now, it's already uh, going through my different slides. I'm going to go back to the first one. And to comment on my slide, I'm just going to click on this comment button. And you've got some options here. The options you've got is you can actually, if you click on this phone, you can have voice thread call you on the phone and you can upload a audio comment that way. You can go directly to a webcam, which it's going to start here for you. So you can create a video comment. There I am. And click stop recording. So you can create a video comment. There I am. All right, I'm going to cancel that one. You can also type out a comment. So I want to uh, welcome people to my voice thread. You can type it right in there. Hit save. And what that does is whenever someone comes to your voice thread, that will be the first comment that plays. So if you want to record a greeting um, on that first slide, that's a good idea. Either in text or audio. Uh, there's lots of different ways you can do it, obviously. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to show you. This is a record button if you just want to use your audio. And you're going to do that for each of your different slides. So you can record comments on each slide. And I do encourage you to do, uh, have students do this. So not only is there a picture that's represented, but also they can give their own information about the picture. They can explain why they included it. Uh, if they're telling a digital story, they can tell the story throughout each picture. Uh, but they can make their own comments and make it their own. And that's basically the first two steps I wanted to share with you is to upload and edit. In the next video, I'm going to show you more about how to share these out. It's really simple. 
I'll also show you some of these different options and the next video is going to be kind of beyond the basics. Well, I'll show you how to embed the code, uh, some of the different publishing options, and how to share your voice threads with other people. Alright, so until next time, those are the basics.